Good day YouTube. Welcome to my channel. My name is Darren and my amateur radio call sign is N4VFR. I'm still working on my tower project and my tower is right here. It's a Rhone 25. I plan on putting three sections up, but in this video I'm going to lay my grounding rods. I have three of them. I bought these on eBay. This is a military spec grounding rod. I opened one box and this is what you get. You get three grounding rods. You have an acorn right there that has a, um, a grounding wire and three coupler heads. Uh, three couplers actually. These are couplers and you got one that has a, uh, a bolt on top and that's used for pounding it in the ground. This is how I plan to connect all of them together. I have three stakes. That's where I'm going to place each grounding rod. And I have this thick copper wire strand. And it's going to go all the way around the tower. So they're all going to be connected together. Okay, so I'm looking at all these rods. I want to make sure that I got the uh, the pointy end going down. You see how there's the the pointy end versus if I flip this around, it's got a flat end on this one here. It's kind of flat. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this coupler with the uh, the head on on it, screw that in all the way until it stops, and then screw this all the way in that stops and I'm just going to pound it, pound it down in the ground. Notice that I'm wearing eye protection. You want to have eye protection. You don't want to have any stray copper hitting you in the eye. We got it down to the ground. We take off the coupler with the head, the bolt, and we're going to replace it and put the, the coupler so I can connect two rods together. Alright, now that that coupler is attached, I'm going to take the other end. Uh, this is the second rod. So I'm going to I'll put the pointy end down. I'm just going to twist it until I can't twist it anymore. Okay, I'm now going to put the uh, the back, the uh, what do you call this, another coupler with the bolt on top to pound it down. This is what we use in the military when I was in the field in communications. We use this kind of grounding system. Just take my time. It's going down slowly. No hurries. So that's number two grounding rod that's attached. Now I'm going to put uh, number three. So in my left hand I got the, the third section. That's three sections down, and that's it. I'm going to put the acorn here, so I'm going to connect this wire to the acorn, and I'm going to get a flat piece of copper routed up to the um, 
leg of the tower. Here's the strap. I gotta figure out how I can get this down. Again, I gotta mold. I gotta mold this. I'll, I'll just do it like this. If I'm short, I can just loosen it from the base and then take take some slack out of it and actually use it to lengthen. All right. This is just temporary right now, and uh, I'm going to uh, scuff up or grind some of that paint off that base so that it has a good contact. So the one inch copper goes down to this grounding rod, nine feet down. I got the two wires, and I got the acorn, and it's nice and sandwiched. I will bury this once I have this all connected. I have to do the same thing for the other leg. There's no specific measurement. I'm just going to just eyeball it. See, that's just to mold it.
All right, this is the last leg I'm going to do. It's getting nightfall here, so I will continue tomorrow, but this is my progress so far. I have the strap on three legs. Here's the nine foot grounding rod and how they are connected. That wire goes around and touches all three grounding rods. So the plan now is to sand or grind some of the paint off three legs and then clamp them together. So we'll continue tomorrow. It's day two and what I'm doing today is going to bury these cables under the ground. And also, I'm going to shave off some of that paint at the base of the tower. So let me knock those two things out. Did I tell you it's super hot and humid here in Florida? Okay, I want to trim some of this copper here. I marked it because I don't want too much copper on top of this clamp. I'm going to cut it here. And I have it already marked what, where I need to grind some of the paint off. So here's a close-up view of the area. It's just basically that little small square that I'm going to grind. And I'll do the same thing for the other two.
two legs. All right, so I got a brand new Ryobi grinder. I'm gonna try out. I did a fine job of uh, cutting some of that paint off the uh, legs. Hey. I'm going because this is copper and this is steel, um, this seminal metals will cause corrosion. So what are your thoughts? Maybe this SS lube, SS30, jet lube actually it's called. Um, should I use that in between where these two come together? Okay, so what are your thoughts? Leave me a comment. I'm gonna go ahead and use it and saturate this area. Because now that I grind it and it's exposed, I wanna have at least this um, anti-seize compound on it. So let me apply this. That is now tight. And like I mentioned earlier, I'm gonna do the same thing for the other two legs. It is done. This is what it looks like. I got the uh, grounding rod, nine feet, and I got the one inch copper strap bonded to the base of the tower on three sides. Additionally, there is a copper wire that goes around all three grounding rods. Cool beans. So, uh, it's so hot here in Florida. We have a heat advisory and uh, I'm at a stopping point where uh, the next step that I plan on doing on this tower is probably mounting the rotator, uh, mounting the other section, and also adding a winch so this, um, this hazer can travel up and down with my stepper urban beam antenna. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please consider to subscribe. Click on that notification bell so you're notified when I get new videos posted on my tower project. My name is Darren and my amateur radio call sign is N4VFR. Stay tuned for future videos on this project, 73s. Have a great day.